Welcome to another tutorial about Arch Labs. Uh, we are now in the process of changing or thinking about changing our menu. We've shown you in other tutorials that this menu can be manufactured, manufactured from scratch. So this is your menu. You can change these things, change programs around, change the lines, etc. etc. These things can be done here in open box. We have this menu that we can make here or here, the graphic user interface or the XML file. What if I tell you that there is another way? There is a way to automatically create an, a menu out of the box, sort of a piping menu. Okay, and you do have it already if you installed my GitHub from uh, github.com, Eric Dubois, and then Arch Labs. In the meantime, as you can see, I've changed again my themes. So we have now this uh, icon themes and this mono Sardi icon themes. And let's go ahead. So if we installed the scripts, the personal script from this, this GitHub, then we have also in the .config file, we copy pasted an OB menu generator. So a box menu generator. Quite handy thing. It's a little program that is going to make our menu, but then automatically, rather than doing everything manual, we're going to let him do the work. What should you know? We should know that there are two things here. We can get rid of this one. We didn't start it yet, so that's just the database. Um, config PL and schema PL. So it's going to be run with Perl. And if we double click it, the first one, we can set some stuff. So this, you should, should see this as a kind of template and you decide what's in there and then OB menu generator is going to the rest. What did I change? I told him not to go to Genie as a program, as a standard editor, but to use Sublime 3. I thought, I think this was already standard. I, he knew already after an installation that my username was Eric. But anyway, is it, if it's not uh, after installation, because we're copy pasting files, you know, watch out. So the login should be correct here. And GNOME terminal is also a choice. I think it was an other terminal. The original one, original file is in here. So I can always take a peek and see, okay, it was Genie and it was Xterm, you see? And it uh, says that it's Eric, but don't trust it. So you check it out if it's correct. And the other file we're gonna check is the schema.pl. And what does this say? It says require the one we just saw. Okay, it's required now. Meaning this variable is now imported and it's now Sublime 3. I've got rid of some of the things. A hashtag in front of it is enough. And you don't see it anymore, or you do see it. I wanted Nemo to an R, what you do, you copy paste, you take this line, control C, control V, put it in there. And what's this? This is your terminal command. No typos allowed. This is your terminal, so the label, this can be anything you like. If you want to call Nemo the file manager, then it's like that. And this is the icon that's used. So if you're using paper, papyrus, Numix, Sardi, Servan, it's going to look for a name called file manager dot png dot svg doesn't mind yeah all these programs have been started here so this is one block then there's another block the customized advanced settings which is going to be called settings and then we can have another one another category customize and it's going to have the icon theme gpic is going to be a program and so on and so on until here then we get an open box category. So all about open box, we start, we configure. And this one is just for OB menu generator. So we can generate menus. So we can run them or edit them. This is my own to have a mint stick. Uh, so it's a USB utility to burn ISO to USB or format it. The help uh, keyboard pipe menu is in there. And then all the applications that we have installed, so a lot of them. So we can see 
all of the applications in the menu. Don't have to do anything about that. It's just the way it is. And then an all places pipe menu and an all recent files pipe menu. This is my template. This is what I want. If you want something else, copy paste, change names and so on. Super. Now, how do we get it? First, make backups. Always do that. So this is the core folder of your system. You, can't, you cannot have not a backup. You should have a backup, right. Control C, Control V. So this is my backup. Let's rename it. This is the no OB menu generator or the standard one, something that you know what it is. So open box. In this one, there is no OB menu generator. Because when I'm gonna run this, it's going to write over this file here, menu.xml. This is this thing here. This is our standard one. Take a good last look at it. This is the one we made. This is this one. And it's gonna go away. So double click. This is our menu. Okay, let's keep it open. And now we're gonna run a program and it's going to use this one and this one. Okay. Termite. OB menu generator. What should I type? Because entering doesn't help. It gives me an output and nothing is changed. Everything is still there. Control shift uh, backspace, reload of open box will not work because it's not saved. It's just that's the the, the screen output, let's say. What should we do? Help. Minus H. And it says here, if you want to have a dynamic menu without icons of with or without, you should just do this or do that. So one of the two is fine by me. Let's start without icons because the most important or difficult one is the one with icons. So, wow, we don't have to type all that, Eric. Just OB menu and then dash. That's enough. He knows it's in user bin. OB menu generator minus S static menu with icons. Let's go a bit into that. Dynamic means that your menu is being created on the fly. If you install a software a package, then it's in the menu. If you uninstall a program, it's in the menu. If it's a static one, you have to remember yourself to remake the menu because it's going to be a simple XML and it's the quickest, least consuming of RAM, least consuming of as the CPU. So static is fast, super fast. Dynamic hangs, it depends ab about the CPU, how powerful is your computer, and then maybe you will see no difference. But the dynamic is a program that's being run, it's going to check all the applications that are in your system and it's gonna make or an icon or not an icon. So two choices, four choices actually. Dynamic icons, no icons. Static icons, no icons. So we're going for a static menu without icons. That's the fastest possible menu. Enter. The static menu has been successfully generated. Let's take a look what happens here. So we go down here, in here, and it says it's changed. Take a look, reload. And now he has made a kind of new menu. Is it already there? No, it's not. What should we do? We should first reload it. So open box, restart, or control uh, shift backspace. And then, and only then, we see here, well, let's wait for it. Yep, it's there, I think, now. Right mouse click, and here you have, oops, I thought, I thought, took without icons, but I took the one with icons, sorry. Uh, it says I uh, should have typed minus C, no problem. So we've done already the one with icons. So this is now our menu. Everything inside it goes like this, like so, uh, network. All the systems, all the applications are in there. This is one icon I still have to make, so it's a terminal icon. And all this stuff is available. Mirage is another one I have to make. So now we have a menu, 
with icons it's automatically created let's quickly take a look as well to the code because you remember we used we used this thing here uh, let's take a look at these elements windows spacebar nemo tunar terminal firefox sublime text genie kill nemo lock screen exit open box so these elements are coming from here this is called settings that's why it's black it's a separator with a name application is also a setting and a separator and we can customize what can we do we can do gpic this one then a line conky conf and so on and so on and so on so the divisions the lines the names the programs the icons you can put it all in here and run it okay one thing so now we have done this one the generate a static menu with icons generate a pipe menu with icons that's a pipe menu also a good thing to just open it this is now our xml file it's going to run a program using Perl, and the program is going to be this one result right mouse click wait for it wait for it there it is so it's a program that's going to check all the programs all the applications and see what icons it needs and then you have it there's your output that's because of this piping program all right what else wait for it wait for it wait for it there it is generate a static menu no icons talked about that's this one again it's a piping thing right mouse book click quicker Oh no, sorry, we need to reload, my mistake. Reload, it didn't tell me to reload. So this is now XML file and it's quick because there are no icons, you shouldn't read anything, it's just static. This is the quickest way, generate a static menu and gen again a pipe menu, but this time without icons, we go normally a little bit faster. Let's see if he changes here, not yet. Yeah, there he is. The, this is a piping menu, right mouse click, there it is, right mouse click, there it is, right mouse click. So it's quite fast, it doesn't need to go over all these icons. And when you install something now, it's in there, when you erase something, it's in there. So all the programs are in here, there's not one program that he will miss. Everything that's installed is now shown. And this may be an option you like. So OB menu generator, it's in there, it's installed. You can use it to have static and piping dynamic menus with or without icons. Do take care of uh, about the, the, the original stuff, of course. So make a copy before you try any of these open box. This is now our new menu. The only thing that really changes was this one. But just to keep it simple, just take a copy of the complete box, the complete folder. It's important anyway to have a backup of this folder. So that's OK. And we only change this one. And the old one is this one. We can't open it, but we can open it, of course, with Genie or Sublime Text. It's just back extension. All right, so that, uh, that concludes this tutorial. It's about OB menu generator. You can generate your own menus and use the templates to change them. Have fun.